This is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the IRS. Welcome to my YouTube station. Um, I obviously do these YouTubes at home. I don't need to go to my office and wear a coat and tie. I worked at IRS for 10 years. I've been uh, tax defense representing people for 40. Uh, beside me and my team, we have about 250 years of IRS work experience. We know exactly what we're doing. Many of you have seen me on my, my news interviews and you come to my YouTube station. I appreciate that. You can see all my news clips and my cast of characters team at 777irs.com and uh, you can kind of take a, a, a look at us there. Today what I want to talk about is I had a, a client uh, this morning, today Saturday, it's very rare, I got a call, I took the call. The guy said he called the 1-800 number on um, the service center and he didn't like the way he was treated and he got really bad news calling the 1-800 number and he wanted to know if that was the final decision, what they said. And the answer is no. Um, you will find that some, not all, when you call the service center, um, there's a lot of smart and a lot of good people there. There's a lot of them still getting trained. They've had some hires, but some, some of them are really bullies on the phone. Some of them do not know what they're talking about. For the most part, they do a good job, but every now and then you're gonna get that person who um, just ignored what you said. They were rude, they bullied you, and at the end of the day, they, they gave you a result that there was no way that you could live with the result that they gave you uh, at that 1-800 number at the service center. So, you know, what do you do? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, you should call a firm to represent you. Uh, we do that all day long. I don't care who you call. Makes no difference. Um, we're better than anybody. But at the end of the day, you, know, you may have a friend. Your accountant may want to do it. You may have something, somebody who knows about IRS and call that, that what they do is not final. And what, the, what happens, many people want to do it themselves. And I don't blame them. Many of you do not have the money. You have to call up and do your own representation. There is nothing wrong with that. Usually if you owe under twenty or $30,000 worth of debt, I just tell you what to do because I can't work that low dollar amount. I usually work higher dollar amount, but that, that, that is not the final say. Um, many times you did not have time to think of the answers, you did not have the right answers, and as a result you got screwed by the Internal Revenue Service. If that has happened, it's best for you not to call back because you can't make yourself look good. You just It's a rule of representation and all of a sudden you're going to call back and start stuttering and changing your mind. That's the point. If you want a result, you've got to have call somebody who knows what they're doing, who can get the record of what they uh, you told the IRS, or maybe you have it and go ahead and change the result. If for professional calls, and I'm just telling you, I've done this for 50 years, if you try to work your case and uh, with IRS, and I work your case at IRS, we're gonna get two completely different results. And it's only because you don't know what's going on, it's unfair, but like I say, some, IRS agents at different levels will take advantage of you like but I do say over and over about 90% of them for the good part of that is good the people who call me got that other 10% but remember their word is never final uh, you can always go ahead and take it forward with a manager or have someone like us undo that. Anyway, I'm trying to give you the information you need. If you'd give me a subscription, I'd really appreciate it because we try to do our best to give you good information and insider. And by, by, by giving us a, us a subscription, it really shows uh, YouTube we have value. By the way, if, if anyone asks you for a subscription on YouTube, it's because YouTube thrives on that. It's, it, it makes YouTube think that your product is a worthy, pro, worthy product. So I appreciate that. You can leave me a comment. Thank you very much. Uh, have a great day. Don't be bullied by IRS.